We are at the Patish Citadel in the northern Negev with the people of the KKL who are fighting desertification and global warming by planting trees in collaboration with the United Nations efforts to stop global warming. What we are doing is uh, to plant a tree uh, that, uh, uh, that absorbs this uh, CO2 uh, for uh, many, many years. Uh, we do this by uh, plant uh, trees that uh, we introduce to this area, uh, like uh, eucalyptus, uh, like uh, pines, and uh, like uh, carob. Uh, and uh, I hope we will... Uh, continue with, uh, uh, with what we are doing. The idea is to manage soil water resources and plant trees and control the grazing in order to prevent erosion processes, improve water quality for the people who are living in the Negev, improving uh, grazing area. The idea is to help the people who are coming to live in the Negev and to combat the certification processes. We are using techniques that our, our forefathers used 3,000 years ago. More to the north, in the frontier of the Mediterranean zone, we are creating green belts around the cities. We are actually dealing with urban forestry. The participants of the KKL JNF UFRO, a forestation to combat desertification conference, who are all experts on the subject, took to the field to see firsthand the efforts to combat desertification made possible by friends of the KKL JNF worldwide. The KKL it took upon itself uh, to try a method of uh, controlling uh, land degradation in dry areas and this is by uh, planting trees because uh, trees in dry lands use water and uh, water is a scarce resource in the dry lands so uh, the KKL rightly so uh, is investing now in research to find out what are the benefits and what are the um, concerns of, of afforestation in dry areas. I would summarize and say that the KKL is learning by doing. שטחים ירוקים כדי לתת קצת יותר נועם ונעימות לתושבים בנגב, למטיילים בנגב, ליהנות גם מאזורים ירוקים, מיערות, מאיכות סביבה טובה. Experts from abroad spoke of what they learned at the KKL conference and would take back to their own countries. I think that uh, the efforts by KKL was uh, Quite, are quite impressive for us. The results here with so little rainfall in uh, greening the land uh, and, the, and to have uh, a very healthy landscape, uh, interesting from an aesthetic point of view and from an economic point of view, it's quite impressive for us. In all honesty, I'm very impressed with what they're doing. Um, I think a lot of the practices that they're implementing are actually state of the art. I come here, quote, as an advisor, but also as a student. Every time I come here, I see different things. Uh, it's a learning experience. The participants of the conference were hosted by local Bedouins, with whom the KKL JNF is creating projects designed to protect the environment in the Negev, such as controlled grazing. After seeing firsthand the efforts made by the KKL to fight desertification in the northern Negev and contribute to the global struggle against global warming, we can say that the future of the northern Negev and the future of Israel is indeed greener.